Hello, uh, Riccardo Manzotti. We have here Riccardo Manzotti, professor of philosophy and author of the book The Spread Mind, La Mente Largata in Italian. And we will ask him uh, the question, uh, what was necessary for you, Professor Man uh, Manzotti, to achieve a, a shift of consciousness in your personal experience? Thank you for uh, the opportunity to talk about my experience and uh, my relation with my the world and myself. Well, I am, uh, when I was much younger, I've always been uh, interested about the relation between myself and the world. And what I was particularly interested about the nature of myself. What am I? And uh, I try to find an answer to such questions in uh, philosophy books or uh, in uh, scientific books. Both had their own shortcomings. And uh, what worried me a lot was that they didn't seem to speak the same language. And uh, uh, so I kept asking myself, what am I? Am I my body? Am I my brain? I am a immaterial soul. And uh, no answer were completely satisfying for me. So I kept looking for them. I kept looking for an answer to this uh, fundamental question. What am I, what am I, and what is my place in the world? And uh, I, so in order, this is not just a biographical, uh, um, information, but it is something that has some relevance for what I'm going to say afterward. So in order to find an answer to this question, I uh, started doing uh, computer science and AI because I hope that um, by trying to build a model of the mind and possibly to implement such a model into a machine, we could understand how our mind works. But uh, Year after year, the more I studied AI, the more I studied computer science, the more I had the impression that uh, information is not the stuff we're made of. The more I had the impression that uh, what we can get from AI and computer science doesn't tell us much about our consciousness, our own personal experience. Because in the end, there's always a gap. There's always a separation. On the one hand, there is the world, the physical world. On the other hand, there is information. And this might sound different from the traditional separation between the world and the soul. But in the end, it is still a dualistic view of reality. And I couldn't understand if I was, uh, say, a flow of information inside the brain, how could such a flow of information get the meaning of the external world? And why should that uh, flow of information had any meaning? So I kept asking myself uh, such questions. Even the most, the simplest question didn't have an answer. No matter how much time I spent trying to build robots or AI system able to uh, see, not to see, able to recognize uh, face, faces, to recognize people, to be, be able to do a lot of stuff, very interesting. But nothing told me anything about the nature of my experience. So I kept asking myself, in the world, what is my experience? What is Self. So, while I was asking such questions, one day, I had, uh, while I was still a um, full-time uh, AI scholar, I was wondering, uh, I was, uh, um, I, I had a half a day, free day, so I had, uh, I was able to spend, to take some time for myself. And I remember that I, 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 I took a stroll uh, on top of uh, a mountain here in Italy. While uh, I was walking on the, um, on, on the trail, I reached to the top of the, the hill, uh, not a very big hill, but uh, a very good looking hill. And uh, 
all of a sudden I had an epiphany. The epiphany I had was that uh, there was no separation experience and the external world. Actually, I had the epiphany that uh, there wasn't anything like uh, my soul or my mind as opposed to the external world. I felt that I was one with the world, not in the sense that I was um, joined or, or unified or connected with the external world, but in the sense that it was just the external world. Namely, I had the experience that my, my existence was the very thing my existence seems to be made of. Namely, the world made of um, clouds, mountains, people, everything I could find inside my experience. There wasn't any contrast between the world and myself. I was just one with the world. Therefore, I asked myself, why do I have this problem of placing myself? Why, do I, why have I been looking for my mind, for my soul in many places? And uh, at that moment, I understand that uh, the, the biggest problems we have is that we are biased by a lot of empty notions, empty concepts. So we are plagued basically by uh, uh, layers after layers on top of other layers of uh, wrong notions about what we are that uh, play a role not different from that of the mythology in the past. Today, we no longer believe in the Olympian gods, but we believe in many things that are invisible and that are just like the Olympian gods. Only because everyone seems to accept them, we don't call them into question. For example, we believe in an inner mind. We believe in a separation between the, an internal mental world and the external world. We believe in information and many other things that nobody has ever seen, that nobody has ever been able to show you. But the people have been talking about that stuff. So I try to see reality. I'm getting back on a very personal um, description, a very pe uh, personal angle. I try to see reality without any assumption. I try to see myself without any uh, belief. I try to see everything as it just is. I try to get rid of the uh, layer of concepts and beliefs and assumptions that prevents us from seeing reality and ourselves as they are, in their nakedness. So I try to start afresh and to have an experience of the world that was not biased by any previous uh, theories and knowledge, uh, hoping that reality was going to show itself as it is, naked. So if I had to use a catchphrase, I would say that my method is uh, trying to get to the naked reality without any, any, any uh, additional and um, unsupported beliefs. And, and, and that's what I've done. So basically after that, I, I Kept, uh, I, I tried to be as faithful as possible to this view. Namely, I tried to say as little as possible to avoid the temptation to uh, disguise the little we know below or under a lot of uh, nice concepts uh, and, uh, and, uh, and theories. I, my, my, my method is to say um, as little as possible. 
but everything I say has to be one with the world as it presents itself. And that's what happened to me once, as I told you many, many years ago. And since then, I try to follow that compass as uh, the, 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 the most, uh, the, as the best uh, criterion to uh, get to a better understanding of uh, our, myself, ourselves, and the world. Amazing. Thank you very much, uh, Professor. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.